a blood part 12. It's both a pleasure and a fuel and treat it as a such. Overeating, eating too fast, preoccupation while eating, or eating at the regular irregular times create stress on spleen. You can support your spleen by enjoying your food, having a regular meal in a calm environment, eating away from stresses or distractions, eating slower, eating until you're about 80% full, planning meals, and eating a variety of foods. What to eat? So try to keep a balance. Ensure not to eat too much of any one food. Too much eat meat will weaken spleen and will and we will be unable to digest what we eat. Too many grains can create dampness. So there is a dapat my variety and balance are the key. Try to include whole grains, vegetables like steamed in soup, baked or lightly suited two times a day. So avoid raw food, good quality sources of protein, in beans, eggs, or meat. Increase food that are warm, build blood, and support the spleen. Avoid foods that are cold, raw, or damp. Foods and supplements that build blood. We have eggs, beef, chicken, liver, sea vegetables, seeds and nuts, beets, pumpkin, sweet potato, carrots, leafy green, oatmeal, brown rice, quinoa, beans combined with the grain, spirulina, blue-green algae, nutritional yeast, iron taken with vitamin C for better absorption, and vitamin B12. Dump food in excess, so we have alcohol, greasy, heavy, or oily foods, dairy products, refined carbohydrates like sugar, white flour, uh, grains, tofu, or soy milk. Cold foods, iced drinks, beer, ice cream, raw fruits, and vegetables. Activities that relax and calm. So we can do meditation, gentle yoga, like kundalini, restorative, or game, tai chi or qigong, cooking, reading, walking, whatever works for you. Is your mind. When anxiety and depression are pers persisting, consider seeking out a competent counselor support group, or psychotherapist. Express yourself. Get your liberty moving. Find healthy ways to express anger. Learn to express what you need. Work less. Look at your workload and do your best to make it a realistic one. Set boundaries and limit for, you, for yourself. Work less and work smarter. So, tingnan po natin yung picture. <laughs> Use fewer drugs or less alcohol. Do your best to sleep well. Set a bedtime for yourself. Make a, make a bedtime a ritual. So, regular po yung oras na susundan. Use your bed for sleeping, not working. So, huwag tayo magtatrabaho sa bed or magbabasa, or mag-aaral. Wake up at the regular times. Regular acupuncture ap appointments. With acupuncture, we use points to tonify spleen function so that we are getting the most out of our food in order to build blood. We also use points to improve quality of sleep so that our body is better able to store blood. We work to calm the whole system down so that it can function more harmoniously. Next, we have Shatsu. It's good for blood deficiency, 
because it is comforting and relaxing. Sa habits which support digestion naman, all food should be easy to digest and cook. No raw food or salads, no cold foods. This means not just ice cream but salads, chilled foods, drinks, straight from fridge and excess fruit in winter. Regular meals, regular pace of daily life, regular sleep, regular rest and relaxation. Enroll friends and family in supporting you in regularizing your habits. Soup made with chicken stocks. Add warming spices to food, cardamom, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. Orange and yellow root and ground vegetables. Example, the carrot, pumpkin, parsnip, turnips, squashes. Pumpkin are sources of natural sweetness, especially when chilled, when chewed well. They provide best nourishment for spleen and help reduce sugar cravings. Foods to avoid excess milk and cheese, refined sugar, chemicals in food, liquids with meals, junk food, bananas, peanuts. Food information produced by spleen and stomach and food, kidney essence, and form in the heart. Blood function, nourish, nourished, moisten, blood is also the basis for mental activities. So blood circulation, Heart moves it, spleen produces it, and liver stores it.